Q&A here in the INFJ INFP development group. It's great to be here with you today. I'm looking forward to answering some amazing questions from today, from the last week. Um, it is um, always a pleasure. So let's get into the questions today. Number one, uh, when it comes to my relationships, my my instinct is to nurture, nurture, nurture. I'm an INFJ. Then somewhere along the line, something snaps and the, psych and the psychological toll of helping hits me like a ton of bricks. Uh, this is where I withdraw into my safe introverted space. It's as if life is either happening out there or in here. And in both situations, I'm missing something. That is a that is a great question. Well, it's it's more amusing. So I'm assuming that the question there is how can kind of not not be that not like what's going on there. So INFJs in particular with the outward facing feeling part of you, the the unifier, uh, as we have in our uh, our roundtable model, is drawn to connecting with other people. So our feeling. Uh, functioning as INFJs is outward facing. So therefore we are likely to, um, when we enter the drama triangle, we're likely to enter at the rescuer space where we just help people or help people, help people, help people, instead of, you know, looking for our own needs to be met and our own, uh, looking after our own self care. So uh, it's only normal then once you just keep giving to at some point hit a point where you can't give anymore and you need to take some time or you need to, you know, uh, balance the giving with taking, but how it actually looks is like it's passive taking. So you, you turn away from other people. So instead of asking for your needs to be met with others, you turn away from others to just be in this like a hermiting space. And this kind of thing, when you, when you, you know, exist uh, in the giving space and then the withdrawal space where you don't learn to give and take. Um, that leaves us feeling like we have those two different worlds and that there's, you know, you're always missing out on something, which is exactly what you were um, just defining there in your question. And I just want to say that it is, this is a tough um, one to break because you are conditioned to uh, relate to the world in a sp very specific way and the specific ways by giving, by always either meeting people's needs before they, or anticipating people's needs before they even voice those needs and meeting those needs, or, or feeling like you're always you have to be always on standby in case somebody needs anything. And both of those models really come from um, us having those um, experiences in our lives where we had to make ourselves useful. Um, and what I mean by that is that we related, we were uh, punished for not being useful or we were only rewarded for being useful so we learned this pattern this kind of uh, way of relating to other people and of course you know and, and something that I've had to also learn myself the real reciprocal relationships are just that they are reciprocal that has to mean that you both give and take that it's not just give or take and so my question to you would be, think back in your life, where in your life did you have people, maybe in a position of power or perceived position of power, that they were takers, that they only wanted you to be there to, to give them so that you, where in your life did you learn to become this giver and this like nurturer? So that's what I would say to you. Start with that and, and, and don't, because just giving or just taking is not a sustainable model um, in, in how to be in relationships with others. Um, ask yourself, you know, where in my life can I, could I take more or could I ask for more? 
And then if that person, you know, that you think of um, has the capacity to give you more or has the willingness to give you more, um, ask them, ask them. If you trust them, that you know, you can even just do this as an exercise to say, hey, I've been challenged to ask for my needs to be met more because I realized that there's a discrepancy. Um, and then you can say, would you be open for me to ask um, for a need to be met, knowing that you can say yes or no. So that's where I would start with that. Um, I'd love to hear if that was helpful for you. Um, if, if it wasn't you asking this question, put in your comments if you've experienced something similar. Um, we all have the same problems, just to different degrees. And I think that by you just commenting something, it might give this person who asked this question a little bit of peace of mind and, and encouragement to say, yes, you know, you're not alone. <laughs> All right.